Hey everyone, it's Josh from WA Production, and I've got something absolutely massive to share with you all today. With their recent beta release of FL Studio 21.2, ImageLine has soft launched their new service called FL Cloud, further integrating FL Studio's capabilities with the web. And we at WA Production are excited to be a part of it right from the start. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of how this beta version of FL Cloud works and tell you how you can try it for yourself. First, it's important to note that this is just a beta version of the FL Cloud service, meaning that its features and design are likely to change by the time it's fully released. To access the FL Cloud beta, you'll need to own a license for FL Studio. Then you can download the beta from the FL Studio forum. The beta installs separately from the stable version of FL Studio, so you can have both installed at the same time. As with any beta, you may encounter some glitches or bugs when using it. FL Cloud is completely free during this beta period, so you don't have to pay anything to try it out. When you open FL Studio's browser, you'll now see the new FL Cloud Sounds tab. As you can see on the Discover page, there are packs from a number of labels, including WA Production. Click a pack to listen to the demo or preview individual sounds. All preview audio is routed directly through your master channel. Within the pack, you can sort a number of different ways. Or shuffle the order of the samples. Down here, you can see that the previews are automatically synced with your DAW tempo by default, but you can turn that off if you wish. You can also adjust the volume, transpose the key, or adjust the playback speed, allowing you to preview the sounds in a way that fits your track. Now, if we want to search for a specific sound in the entire FL Cloud Sounds library, rather than in a specific pack, it is easy to do that via the Sounds tab. As of now, FL Cloud lets you filter by sample type, genre, instrument, tempo, and key. The tempo filters are where it really gets cool. You can manually select a tempo or a tempo range, or you can have it go by your project tempo, or even a percentage range from your project tempo. Once you've found a sound you like, you can add it to your wish list by clicking here. Or simply add it to your library right away. Now you can drag it straight into your project, where it will be automatically time stretched to your project's tempo.
In addition, you can click the sample menu to take a number of different actions that show the deep integration with FL Studio's workflow. Alternatively, you can right-click the sample to show options as well. To see all the sounds you've added to your library, click here. As you can see, I haven't downloaded all my sounds to this device, but I can easily do so from here. You can also check out your wish list here and compare some sounds you are thinking about adding to your library. Finally, I wanted to show you a workflow that I think will come in handy for FL Studio users. Let's say you're looking for an 808 but want to see what sounds you already have first. You search for a sound in your browser, but aren't really feeling any of the options. At the bottom, you'll now have the option to discover more in FL Cloud. Click there, and it will take you to a filtered list of options in FL Cloud sounds that meet your search criteria. Well, that's all for now on FL Studio's beta launch of FL Cloud. The team at WA Production are excited to be a part of this amazing new service, and we can't wait to see what other features ImageLine add to it next. Have fun with it.